Welcome to Meditation 9, Part 4 with Franz Deventia. This is Becoming a Non-Smoker, Part 4. Make sure to click on subscribe if you have not already subscribed. This meditation is about becoming a non-smoker and it is Part 4. It is important that you should have listened to the guided meditation Becoming a Non-Smoker Parts 1, 2 and 3 at least once before listening to this guided meditation Part 4. For the purpose of this meditation we are going to use an affirmation I am a non-smoker. Make sure that you have your I am a non-smoker stone with you. You can get a I am a non-smoker stone and some nicotine replacement products from the website mentioned underneath the video, as well as more information about the online nicotine addiction support group. Hold your stone tightly and say the words with or after me. I am a non-smoker. I am a non-smoker. I am a non-smoker. Sit down on a chair or cross-legged on the floor with your back straight. However you position yourself, the important thing is to be comfortable. Lift your chin slightly so that your head can balance in a relaxed way on the top of your neck. Allow your shoulders to relax. Holding your I am a non-smoker stone, you put your hands into your lap. Gently close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Hold it for a few moments and then breathe out. Take another deep breath. Hold it for a few moments and breathe out. Notice how your belly moves as you take another deep breath. Hold it for a few moments and then slowly Breathe out. Allow yourself to become deeper and deeper, relaxed with each breath that you take. Just focus on your breathing, being aware of when you breathe in, and when you breathe out. I'm going to talk about the cycle of addiction. I want you to think about smoking for a bit. Imagine that in the past, you were feeling like having a cigarette or a smoke. It was almost as though you were a little bit tense about getting that smoke. You light up, inhale a lungful of smoke and almost immediately you feel better. 
the tension from before just seems to dissolve. What happened? Focus on your breathing for a bit, being aware of when you breathe in and when you breathe out. The nicotine-laden smoke entered your lungs and was transferred to your bloodstream. Your heart pumped that oxygen and nicotine-laden blood straight up into your brain, especially that part of your brain around the hypothalamus, which has been craving the nicotine. As a reward for providing the nicotine, the pituitary gland, which is in the area of the brain, in that same area of the brain, is activated, and you are flooded with feel-good hormones or endorphins, which make you feel good. Your tension is released, and you are more relaxed again. Focus on your breathing for a bit, being aware of when you breathe in and when you breathe out. It has only taken a few seconds from inhalation of nicotine-laden smoke to the nicotine being absorbed into your brain. In other words, you felt good only seconds after inhaling the cigarette smoke. Focus on your breathing for a bit, being aware of when you breathe in and when you breathe out. While you smoke that cigarette, your nicotine blood levels peak and you feel satisfied. Nicotine blood levels drop very fast. Within minutes after your last smoke, the levels start dropping. After about 10 minutes, there's just not enough left for the part of your brain that is addicted to nicotine. Focus on your breathing for a bit, being aware of when you breathe in and when you breathe out. There is the most gentle reminder to think about having another cigarette. After 20 minutes, the urge for another cigarette is a little bit stronger, but still manageable. After about 30 minutes, your thoughts start turning towards having another smoke. After 40 minutes, the urge to smoke again becomes quite strong. The urge, although subtle, may be enough to consume your thoughts about having another cigarette. Focus on your breathing for a bit. Being aware of when you breathe in and when you breathe out. If you are in a one-hour meeting, 
like a church or religious meeting, then you are in trouble. While everybody else seems to be focused on the punchline of the meeting, all you can think about is having another cigarette. The last 20 minutes of any one-hour meeting is lost to you. You can only focus on the next cigarette after about 40 minutes. Focus on your breathing for a bit. Being aware of when you breathe in and when you breathe out. This is the cycle of addiction. You may argue that the urge for another cigarette or a nicotine fix is very mild and very subtle. I agree completely with you. It is mild and it is subtle. The urge to keep consuming nicotine products, products is a subtle urge that goes on for 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. The persistence is where it gets its strength. Focus on your breathing for a bit being aware of when you breathe in and when you breathe out. This is the cycle of addiction that I'm talking about. This gentle urge, nicotine addiction. This urge will keep going your entire life. And if you don't fight it, you will end up in an early grave because of it. Focus on your breathing for a bit. Being aware of when you breathe in and when you breathe out. Smoking does kill. It just takes about 40 years to kill you. Other narcotics may kill you much quicker. But then nicotine addiction may be much harder to walk away from. If you started smoking at around 20 years old, how old are you now? Are you already on borrowed time? Or is it coming up fast? Focus on your breathing for a bit. Being aware of when you breathe in and when you breathe out. Once you become a non-smoker, you dare not even take a puff or a single drag of a cigarette. Remember that you are a nicotine addict and you can be sucked right back into the cycle of addiction. Focus on your breathing for a bit, being aware of when you breathe in and when you breathe out. Think of it this way. When you started smoking, 
you were not a nicotine addict. However, after a while, some weeks or months, or even years, after smoking for a bit, you were a nicotine addict. And then you could not stop smoking. You may have felt like myself and so many others that your health was being affected, but you could not stop the cycle of addiction. Focus on your breathing for a bit. Being aware of when you breathe in and when you breathe out. There is hope. With your I am a non-smoker stone and your affirmation I am a non-smoker, you can fight nicotine addiction. You can fight the cycle of addiction and you can win. I have fought this fight for over 20 years and I have won and I continue to win. Victory is sweet and it has its own rewards which you will reap over and over again. Focus on your breathing for a little. Being aware of when you breathe in and when you breathe out. Join the growing number of nicotine addicts who have become victorious over nicotine addiction. The first step is to recognize that smoking is so much more than a bad habit and that you are a nicotine addict. Say with me now, with as much emotion as you can, your affirmation. I am a non-smoker. I am a non-smoker. I am a non-smoker. Focus on your breathing again. Being aware of when you breathe in and when you breathe out. Say with me now, with as much emotion as you can. Bask a little in your victory, however large or small. I am a non-smoker. I am a non-smoker. I am a non-smoker. You start to wrap this meditation session up. You become aware of the place where you sat down to meditate. I want you to start moving your toes, your feet,
your hands? Become aware of your surroundings where you are. At the sound of the bell, this meditation will end. You will find yourself back in your normal state of mind or consciousness. You will feel refreshed. Just keep doing the guided meditations to become a non-smoker. Parts 1, 2, 3 and 4. Until you know that you are a non-smoker. There will be more insights in part 5. Thank you for joining me for this I am a non-smoker meditation part 4. Please share parts 1, 2, 3 and 4 with your family and friends and as many people as you can. If you know smokers, then please especially share this with them. You will find a website link below the video from which you can purchase online a I am a non-smoker stone and nicotine replacement products as well as join the online nicotine addicts support group. I look forward to doing meditations with you in the future. Until our next meditation together, carry your I am a non-smoker stone around with you and keep saying I am a non-smoker until you believe it and then continue saying it to remind yourself